Can you double the data rate by doubling the transmit power? Now intuitively, you might think that this is true, but here's the capacity equation which tells us that the short answer to this question is no. But let's try to understand that. The capacity equation is a log function, where, so when the power gets doubled, it's inside a log, the capacity will not double. Let's try to understand that with an example. Well, here we've got four QAM. There are four constellation points. And if you want to know more about a constellation diagram, check the description below. You'll find a video on the channel explaining constellation diagrams. When we have four constellation points, that means we can represent two bits. So here we've got two bits. And the power here is found by taking the square of this distance here. This is square root of two times a, so the power equals two a squared. So now let's think about doubling the bits. So here we've got 16 QAM with 16 points. That means that we can represent four bits for each constellation point, so we've doubled the bits. If we're going to double the transmit power, then we would want p to equal four times a squared. And I've drawn this constellation here with a generic distance of alpha. So let's try to find this value of alpha that matches this power. Well, we do that by finding the power on average across the constellation points. And it's symmetric in the four quadrants, so we can work out the power in each of these four here, add them up and then divide by four and we'll find the average power. Uh, let's just find the total power across those. That's going to be four times four a squared. That's what it's going to equal. And then we find that out by adding up the powers for each one. So this one is the power for here will be squaring this distance here. And this is alpha squared plus alpha squared is two alpha squared. The power for this one is three alpha squared plus alpha squared. And that's the same as the power for this one. So we have two lots of this and two lots of this. And the power for this one here is three alpha squared and plus three alpha squared, so two. So now we can solve this equation for alpha and we'll find out that alpha equals two a divided by the square root of 10, which equals 0.63 a. So in this case here, where we've got double the power and double the number of bits, the constellation points are located at 0.63a, whereas for 4QAM they were at a, plus and minus a. So now they are closer together. Even though we've doubled the transmit power, our constellation points are closer together, which means they're going to be more susceptible to errors because here they are two, a distance of 2a apart, and so noise would have to go be bigger than a in order for an error to be made. Now they are only 1.26a apart, so the noise would have to be bigger than 0.6 of a in order to make an error, and that has a higher probability than being bigger than a, naturally. So therefore the bit error rate has gone up. So the answer is that you cannot double the data rate by doubling the transmit power, at least not keeping the same bit error rate. So if this has given you more insights into this, uh, give the video a like. It helps others to find the video. Of course, subscribe to the channel for more videos and check out the description below. You'll find a full categorized listing of all the videos on the channel.